Oh, it's the capital saying fuck them girls. No. So this is what this is what I mean but when I said, you know, people were afraid before me calling yelling out to Trump like, "Hey, this is what you should be doing." You know, sort of truth shit, especially when you're dealing with Israel. But at the same time you're a you're an adulterer, so like repent first. Um But here's the thing, like, with the feds and shit, like, you have to realize the feds ain't really that big. It's really, really the power is within the states of the nation. I'm not declaring anything, I'm just saying. People who are believing that the federal government is essentially the kingdom. I I like do you do people even know what like America is anymore? That's like do you understand what United States means? In reality we're not even really a country. We're a union. You know, I've said before that, you know, we're they keep throwing us out in these wars that are really what is destroying the economy. Um, why are the states not refusing? Like, how can Illinois afford to, like, let's say the draft comes. How can Illinois afford the draft? How can it lose that many people and still survive? It can't. Not right now. We're in too much debt right now. So this is what I mean. Like we either need to do what Trump said in the beginning is worry about America first or you just go along with the lies in the sense of not lions, but see, these are wolves. And these wolves will lead us into destruction. I mean, you got to read the Bible, man. You got to understand what's going on. If, if it is the end days right now. These people are trying to lead us into something to where a select few people have control over you. Ultimately, like, it, it's what the microchips and shit is going to lead into. You know, I don't really believe that there's, like, a tattoo or anything on my skin right now. Truthfully, I don't. I think it was either some sort of water he put on me, or it was some sort of poison. I don't know. The only reason why I say poison is because I wasn't feeling that good after. When I got home, my buddy came over one day, and I almost passed out. Like, blacked out. Out of nowhere. Like, I was perfectly fine, and then it was like, my body, like, was shutting down. But I, I, my buddy rushed me inside, and I sat under, like, a vent with the cold air blowing on me, and I recollected myself. But, um,
yeah, that's what I, this is what I mean, though, is we gotta, we either have to figure out what the hell we're gonna do for our union, or we're just gonna let these people destroy us. Like I said, the feds really aren't that, aren't that big. I understand we need a federal government for a central point, but at the same time, we need leaders that are actually going to stick to their damn word. And, you know, that it, there's really no other explanation you can give for that. I mean, is it America first or is Trump worried about Saudi and Iran and all this stuff with Israel right now? Because they're trying to finish their agenda for the U.N., which, once again, the UN isn't even, the UN is, the UN started as a treaty, I mean, and now it's like, turned into this business thing. I think the, the thoughts that we have that everything is a business is what is killing us. You know, everybody's always about nothing personal, right? But at the same time, you're willingly killing yourself and people you love and people you don't even know for this business model thing that we have going on right now. I mean, like I said, there's been evidence where our our govern, government has been caught helping the enemy that we're supposedly at war with. That's just business. I mean, why are we sending our own people out to kill people that we supposedly have trained? I, what is going on? It, it, it makes no sense. And where is the money at? If this is a business, where is the money? Why are we going bankrupt? Especially if we're the ones helping the, the enemy that we're fighting. I don't know, man. That's it. Peace.